Today I'd like to show you how to uh, cut out your building form out of the crate. The four panels of your crate become the form, but before you can assemble it, you need to cut the, uh, the pieces out. We have a cross member here, and then in this particular panel C, that's it. We have the one cross member. When you make your cutout, what you want to do is go with this continuous line. And here we have it. X marks the spot. This is uh, <laughs> one of four cross members needed to build your building floor. Now that we've completed cutting out our, our panels and we have the uh, four main pieces that are lettered, four cross braces, and then this front assembly is for the stem and the breast hood, four pieces. Now that we have the uh, four panels cut, we want to Segregate our panels for panel A goes to panel B, panel C goes to panel D. As long as you have these letters up, you're ready to go. The next step is to take a little carpenter's glue, simply glue the joint. We've applied glue to the uh, edge of the joint. Position it. Give it a little persuasion. And there you have it. You have now one continuous piece. What we have here is part of the building form that supports the breast hook and the stem and uh, it's three pieces this is going to be a vertical piece this piece comes into this lock joint I don't think we even need any glue of the uh, bow stem support together. Now we're going to put this, uh, we have two of these pieces, they're identical, they're both marked with the arrow for the up. This is the top. I think we're going to put a little glue on these tongues that go into the, the uh, holes accordingly. And then we will put this on the edge there. And again, this is up. Tap into place. Looks like we could uh, add a few more holes, I think. Oh yeah, there's a couple more there, huh? Need to get our glasses on tight. Put the uh, four uh, panels together to make two. We have the C and D together with the A and B. Pair them up. It doesn't really matter which side they go on. Uh, the obvious thing is that we have a top and bottom. And you have to uh, refer to your drawings to. Uh, to what is the top and bottom, but these are a pair now, they're gonna to come together as one. Okay. So we wanna do these uh, internal cross members first, I believe. And then we have some that are on the bottom. Once we get this into position, we can uh, 
roll it around. But for now, we just need to line it up properly. We don't want to force anything. Let's make sure that it's in line. Tap. Tap. And we're in. Nice and solid. Yeah. The tricky part. Doing a balancing act here. Proper alignment's essential to success here. Okay, and I think we're ready to roll. Line it up. Tap her into position. Where they say X marks the spot. Looking good. Looking good, just like it's supposed to. Look at that, baby. So we're going to nail it with the uh, the ring shake uh, bronze nails provided in your zip kit fastening kit. Our ideal. At this point, we've got all four of the uh, X cross members installed. It's the bottom side up. So now we need to roll it and install the breast hook and stem support in the bow. So we're going to install the uh, breast hook support. Put a little glue where we're going to have our nails. Let's see if we can see this. Alignment is everything. Voila. Ring shank. Labeled up, goes into this groove, and I think we're ready. Got a Perfect. little glue here, mm -hmm. here. Let me maybe put some in the groove. Why not, Mr. Franklin? Appreciates it. sides the building form is assembled now we have uh, the support for the breast hook the stem this support here is for frame five and a half has two five millimeter holes drilled that coincide with the frame itself center it. Mm -hmm. Have um, frame four hangs on this notch. Frame two hangs in this notch. The transom at 12 degrees rests here. All we need to do now is uh, position it where we want it in our workspace and anchor it to the floor so that it's not twisted or racked so that it's straight, plumb and level, so what we're looking for.